I'm in Paris, France, standing in front of the Grand Palais, which we have just confirmed for this year's Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. The Victoria's Secret Show has been in a lot of places, and uh, the one place that we have never been is the capital of fashion, which is Paris. Yeah, let's do it. We're just so honored to be in this amazing, amazing space, and it's a real creative challenge for us to do the show here. The size and the beauty of the building, that's the real challenge, is how we're going to incorporate it into the small TV screen where people can actually see where we are. Why do you want to do it in daylight? Because I think we will get a huge amount of value out of the location. You want this to be a major night in Paris, not a major afternoon in Paris. It will take a gargantuan amount of light to light it in a way that retains the magnificence and the opulence that we've all, we've all walked into today and gone, wow. Why are we bringing our show to the Grand Palais? We're not, we're bringing our show to Paris. Okay. And we're doing it in the best venue. It can't okay. happen, Hamish. No, we're we're should, in that case, we should move on. Yeah, I'm I'm weird. Fine, let's move on, and I'll, I'll, I, I, I accept. The overall theme of the show starts with the collection. Ed and I look at a lot of different sections, and we narrow it down with Sophia to what sections we wanted to explore. And as soon as we land on an idea, then we start to sketch. These couture outfits take months and months to make. We bring Jane in and we have her bring the outfit to life. My job is to take the designer's ideas and get them down on paper. This season we're doing six different sections for the show. The Road Ahead was inspired by embracing this multicultural dialogue that we wanted to have about the techniques, about the colors, about the fabric, all forming something that's very unique to our universe. Secret Angel was the whole idea of creating this dangerous liaison, casablanca -y, black and white film references in there. She's a seductress that holds no prisoners. So she's quite a strong entity in, in that section. Mountain romance, there's a playful naivety of, of the girl. She's a bit of a Heidi on the hills. If, of all of the sections, I feel like she's probably the most feminine. She is a bit of a free-spirited, outdoorsy girl. Pink Nation, when we had our first pink meeting and there was such a lot of dialogue about the street style, we wanted to bring that sort of element of authenticity by bringing the Panda into the equation. We want to be playful and to have these sport references, but not so literally gym wear. Dark Angel for me was a much harder, sexier, a little bit more gothic in its idea. She's very literally a super sexy, dark, seductress in a way. Bright Night Angel for us was the idea of the girl who's happy to have the best time she can, you know. She engages in the whole carpe diem of I'm going to embrace it, I'm going to love it, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it and that's what we wanted to have with her. Today is the second big production meeting that we've had. The first was in Paris and this was the first meeting with all of the players. So this year in Paris, for a change, we um, had insisted on the fact that we chose a relatively modest location. <laughs> so to this day, the largest uh, steel glass skylight structure. So some big differences as a result of picking this location compared to previous shows, including the London show. No load-bearing rigging points on the ceiling, which means the entirety of our installation will be ground-supported. Do you have to support it on columns, or can you do it across the arches? You do have to support it on columns. On we're columns. Gonna so we're going to show the, you in a second. So the advantage of the no column space gets obliterated by the fact that you have to support all the lighting. You have to ground support it all. Everything's a challenge when you do a big show like this, because there's so much pressure on making it great, making it exciting, making it different. In watching back some of the shows, which I did about three or four weeks ago, it feels to me that a lot of the years kind of blend together. They do. And I think we've got an opportunity this year to actually create a show 
which retains all the values that we love, but actually looks different. I spoke to John Pfeiffer after he did the castings for Fashion Week, and he said he has never seen so many girls as he has this year. When you're seeing this many girls this quickly, you're seeing to eliminate. So the pool gets a little bit smaller and more manageable because, again, you can't bring in this many girls ever to another kind of casting.